Welcome to Puyvidal, a 13th century chateau nestled in the heart of the Charente. Join my mother, my father, my sister, my fiance, and I, an American family, as we move from New York City to California to the southwest of France. This is Dreaming of a Chateau. Our fall season has officially begun here in France. Everywhere around us is slowly settling into the colder months, and we feel our hearts full from the rewards of the year. We're taking stock of all we learned from the retreat, looking ahead to projects all around the chateau, and prepare for our favorite celebration of the year, Halloween. She's been away from the chateau for seven days because we can't have her here during the workshops. Because she's still a very bad girl. She will jump on people and knock them over. Yeah, so no, not allowed. But here's the morning of yeah, Joanna's departure. To yesterday. She came back yesterday and we still have artwork out. Joanna just left. The chateau is feeling full with love and Yes. She's back! Whee! I'm back. Post workshop. Look at that beauty. I'm learning how to draw, but I can do this more or less because I can fake it. And besides, it can look like Miro or Van Gogh or Sasan and sort of drop off the page. So that's okay. I love <laughs> it. When you're making people, it's another matter. Unless you want to do uh, the other side. Birthday breakfast. Birthday breakfast. Thank you, my love. I mean, this tree is a lot of love. Thank you, baby. To fuel your creativity. Yeah. Then the coffee is for you. Thanks, baby. Okay. Her birthday is in like five days, Mama. so I have to reciprocate. We'll be in we'll London be by in then. London it'll be. We are doing our wine post mortem, <laughs> post uh, workshop, wine inventory. Crucial. Last year we just. We knew how much we spent overall, but we knew we didn't drink a lot of it. And then we just kind of drank it personally afterwards and served it. And it's we're really, really like super strict about dividing personal and business expense this year, finally. So we have to have separate sections in, in our wine cellar and everywhere. We have to purchase it separately. And it's it's hard to do because... But we definitely we need a, a cost analysis of the wines to make sure... exactly how much to budget in the cost of the workshop per person. And I think this workshop was a, a good example because we had one underage person, uh, one complete non-drinker, and then one drinker who really only likes a specific type of wine. So that's, I think, a good data good range. set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we we were very accommodated throughout the week. And so. we did go out and buy them specific stuff for, for that. Yeah. Um, and I think that about three like atypical drinkers in a group of 11, 12. 13 guests mm -hmm. is good. So like 10 normal drinkers, three atypical drinkers. And then in that 10, there's heavier and lighter drinkers. And I think that's all really average, mm -hmm. probably. These are two of our favorite wines, Discovery, this workshop. Um, both recommended by our local cubbies. Really delicious. Just it never strays us like one. wrong. He always gives us incredible recommendations for the for our meals, for our set menus. So it's wonderful. And this is a this is a delicious Sauvignon Chardonnay, Sauvignon. whole Pinot Gris. 
Chardonnay. This is a full oh, Chardonnay. Chardonnay. I love this blend one. Hold. I could drink this every day in the summer. The Chardonnay or the Domaine? Too? This one. The yeah. Chardonnay I love with the right food. And this is just so crisp that you just really kind of want it all the time. Fascinating. I want to do the average of bottles and just see average per night. I think it was something like this. Hi, baby. Post workshop. This is the post workshop candle refill by Maruka. So we're doing also candle inventory to see how many candles we burn through the workshop. So far, we think it was 66 candles. Well worth it because it creates such a beautiful feeling at night. The art retreat was a truly surprising experience for me. Um, it was much more than what I expected. We plan, we get ahead of ourselves. We think of all the possibilities that can happen and how we can be the best host to our guests so that they can experience the chateau. But I, what, what I came up with it is that you prepare, you prepare, you prepare, and then you don't know exactly know what's gonna happen because each person is bringing a, a different element to it. And it's kind of like when you prepare for a play and there's mishaps and things are not working out and the rehearsals are not right. And then there's a magic that happens. And we prepared for a workshop. We prepared for giving them very good food and their rooms are very nice and um, the chateau looks very pretty. But that magic that happens once people get here surprised me. So the art was a means of connecting people but then there was the retreat part of it which is the human element coming together and i was very impressed by how people opened their hearts from day one mm -hmm. so and the reasons why they were here were much much bigger than art itself art is a means of expression and connection and wanting to put it um, in the foreground of your life or a focal point really so that blew me away and from that moment on there was just this openness that everybody had I love talking about deep things and spiritual things and and the meaning of life but I don't expect everybody to and this group was jumping to do it to connect to to understand how life works and it was just natural and it was fun and it was easy it wasn't like deep and philosophical it was funny many times but so that was just absolutely wonderful wonderful experience i have never experienced anything like this i have done sort of spiritual retreats and i have done workshops art workshops but the mixture of the two coming together blew me away Hi. What what just happened? I'm sitting there editing the YouTube for um, post workshop, and uh, today's my birthday, September 12th. And then Julia was being a little fairy out there and picking the final flowers of September for my birthday. So oh this my is it. God. She made me cry. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know we had such fresh flowers out there anymore. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Happy birthday, Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. You're as beautiful as all those flowers put together. Not individually, but together. together. They're more beautiful. I'm stunning then. You're stunning. <laughs> you are. Look at that. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Wow. What a surprise. What a way to start the morning. That's beautiful. There's oh. always energy for birthdays. Oh la la. It's not big enough. I think we're riding on the, the momentum of the retreat. We're like, 
epic dinners every night. Let's just keep going. We can't live this we way. Are. It's exhausting. We finally <laughs> got into a rhythm with it. We, like, we, we know, know our aperitif this. hour. We know what the aperitifs are. Yeah, we're like, we, we got this. Let's keep going. Move some tables Let's again. Move table every single meal. Actually, all Let's tables. The projector. We set this up so fast. Oh, we're like, boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. the um, we, every single table should be this light. It's wonderful. Yeah, those mosaic tables should this never have to be wonderful. moved. Okay, well, never in the middle of a workshop. I don't want to yeah. do that yeah. again. The mosaic tables need to stay, which is my plan. And the, the umbrellas need it? to be massive and heavy. The frontal type? And here we are. Umbrellas out. Raining. I'm not sure the umbrella fire, bonfire thing is going to work over there. It's okay. And then the projector night is being covered. There we go. Fabulous. Happy birthday to you. And many more on channel four. How do you guys not like passion fruit, huh? <laughs> And in case it's you don't, hey, you have a little, little bit of yeah, chocolate, a little bit of this. Passion fruit bit mango. Bit oh my goodness, it's beautiful. How many wishes do I get? Six? 17. You get 36! But six for now. Six for now. 18. 18. Oh, it's a very big wish. <laughs> Yay! Mama has been out on a day trip all day and she's back with a very special family member. Hello. He's in there. Oh my goodness. Who's that? You want to hop in Hello. the back seat and come to the front? Okay. How, how was it? Okay. Exhausting? Yeah. Yeah. We ended up in Rochelle. Why? Hmm. You wanna come? Aww. He's small? He's small. Can I help Poor baby, he hasn't set the pee pee's gun. Chiquito, is his litter box ready, Mama? Five hours, yeah. He, we need to take him to my room. Yes, ma'am. Up to the elevator. Okay. Do you wanna come and get him? No, you can do it. Hi, little muffin. What's your name? Oh my goodness, you're very small. You're very small. This is Mama's baby. Mama has wanted a baby kitty since Dandelion died. Okay, let's go. You ready? He's very small. Corrine was so nice and went with Mama today to Tour to go look at kittens and they picked out a Hello, kitten. Baby. Hello. His information is down there. Penelope, Julia says that we could drop off the car tonight. I wouldn't. Yeah. Just yeah. go tomorrow. Or tomorrow. You wanna see him? Yes, uh, let's take him upstairs. Come on, Penelope. Okay. How is the Just breeder? He needs water. Water. Yeah, he looked big in the pictures. Oh and, my and the goodness! Are just like this. They're like... <gasps> he went pee pee, good boy. Okay, we're off to London. Troubadour suspects something's happening, and we'll be back. We'll be sad, Troubadour. Yeah, she knows. She's like, you guys are leaving me. It's not fair. I'm gonna be vlogging from the chateau live without us. Where's Julia? You ready? Off, Off we go. go. Off we go. Bye, Wendell. See you in a bit.
Movie Magic will be back in 30 seconds. So this is Wendell's first walk, and he's never been out of the chateau on a leash before, and they're getting very tangled. And he's doing this so well, because Trubiter is showing him how to do it. Like he's so confident and perfect, oh my goodness. He's been on a leash before quite a few times. I've done some leash training. Okay, so Julie and Carolina have left. And we've been left with the daunting task of getting things back to normal um, after the event. We have a lot of dead flowers, used and unused fire lighters, sorting things, organizing, moving things back into place, finding new homes for things. This became our um, cocktail station which is very nice because we got to be far from the kitchen where we don't want to interfere with the cook uh but here we are trying to remember who painted what <laughs> julie and carolina know but we don't know and they're gone in london right now so we just want to make sure that nothing gets mixed up and that we have all of the paintings that we're supposed to have so julie and carolina left all of the paintings in the studio but since the dogs are going in and out of there, we wanted to protect them and put them in a different room. So we brought them all here to the billiard room. Now that they're um, dry. Now that they're dry, we we're letting them dry off. And um, we don't know whose is whose exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think that's... This is bad. It's okay, Julie and Carolina will know. <laughs> they will know. Mistakes. And if not... There she is. This is America. Wow, what a beautiful day today. We finally kind of settled back into the work rhythms post workshop after Carolina and I arrived about. Uh, now it's been like a week and a half, but we came down with COVID, so we're settling down now. And look at how spectacularly beautiful it is. Carolina and I are still sick, and Mom and Penelope keep making these really beautiful candlelit soirees for us. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, I think they'll go back to London, get COVID again, and then come back. <laughs> Tell them. We're not just bums. And the yesterday. Oh. Penelope's third package of the day. There she goes. Mm -hmm. So it's Halloween. She has all her Halloween things being delivered. We're so excited about this Halloween extravaganza. And it's really good because we're accumulating wonderful 
decor that's going to help us for our October workshop next year, which is a completely spooky, beautiful, magical, Victorian-esque haunted photo shoot retreat uh, with a very talented photographer, set maker, filmmaker, atmosphere maker. So we're going to do a really beautiful women's retreat all about being beautiful and embracing your own image and embracing the fantasy lover inside of you. Oh, I love that. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Am I supposed to say add more to that? No. We've always loved Halloween and we'll probably be celebrating Dia de los Muertos as well, which mm -hmm. is the Day of the Dead. The ancestors. So I put a whole altar for the ancestors and yeah. it's gotten more elaborated. Ooh. Awesome. And here's a Halloween right. packages. Package lady. Are there any for me? Of course not. They're for Halloween. La la la. I just sort of open packages without looking at the name because they're all for me. <laughs> As of late, yes, this is correct. She gets about three packages a day. Oh, this is for me. This is my um petticoat. Ooh, for see. under my costume. And then I'll go to the costume room. Hmm. Oh, how cute. I didn't realize this was a hoop skirt. Very nice. I thought it'd be longer. Me too. Well, look at that, Julia. We'll see if it works. I'm really hoping I can find a costume for myself there. Very nice, Penelope. Thank you. How much are these? Right. This was mm -hmm. like 11 euro okay, or something. Do they have them in white? Think about yeah. Being a, like, we should order a couple for the customer. Yeah. The, I think this one really needs a another petticoat on top to just like smooth it out, smooth mm -hmm. out the hoops. Um, yeah, but this is this is so good for my dress. Awesome. I really Love want it, it black because I have a black corset underneath and it's going to like match and then like if you see like under the dark dress you see like black instead of like white Ooh, very cool okay good good successful receive of packages yeah. today oh there's a second happy fall happy fall look at these leaves let's go check the caretaker's cottage okay all right what's going on there we have been working all end of summer, now beginning of fall, on the caretaker cottage plan, which is basically the plan to turn this little area into a studio. An additional studio swing space for the chateau. Creative space. A creative space, yeah. Back in May of this year, I shared an exciting idea with the family of transforming the caretaker's cottage located right next to the entry gates into an additional art studio or an open workshop space for all of the workshops that are coming up next year. The cottage is about 700 square feet. It's, it's slightly larger than our current art studio in the East Wing. It's incredibly rustic and charming. It's close to the chateau, but it also kind of expands the chateau into this feeling of a village where you can walk around, get inspired by the grounds, the gardens, the maze, loop around the English garden, and then there is a studio where you can come into and create. Super excited to see this. Over the course of several weeks, Robert and I undertook the task of sorting, clearing, and cleaning the many forgotten knickknacks and treasures that had been left untouched for decades. We would meet up in the mornings, load up the vans, and do round trips to our local de Chatterie. We're incredibly lucky here in France to have a wonderful recycling system called the de Chatterie. It's basically a recycling center with multiple bins to recycle just about anything that you can think of. The de Chatterie is about 10 minutes away from the Chateau, and it is one of the most organized systems I think any of us has ever experienced here in France. It's about a dozen plus containers that organize everything from garden waste to furniture to metal and ironwork, broken appliances, cooking oil, light bulbs, batteries. And what's incredible, it's that it's absolutely free.
So Bob and I just stumbled across the most amazing recycling center and we think we're going to get paid for radiators. What do you think? I think the chance is good. The we might, we yeah. might get 10 or 15 euros, <laughs> which is a wonder, will be a wonderful thing. We'll buy wine for tonight with that. <laughs> so our first trip to the Seuss, we're going to take these out. Bob has his gloves ready to go. And we're going to depose ici. Bob, so how much did we get? 60 euros. 60 euros! Hello, 60 euros! Yay! That's perfect background noise, too. <laughs> So these things are about 400 pounds each, right, Bob? I think so. About 400, and we're probably, we're guessing we're gonna get 80 bucks this time. So we're very excited. Initially, I, I had really hoped that this project would be relatively straightforward. It's how I pitched it to the family. We would clean up and clear out all the forgotten items in the cottage. We would remove the dividing walls, particularly the brick wall that was kind of closing up the room really awkwardly. We would install a few ceiling lights, add a utility sink where artists could clean up and wash up after their arts, um, and add a couple of power outlets. The entire family was behind the idea and super enthusiastic. However, as it's often the case with projects at the Chateau, things took an unexpected turn when our electrician informed us that we needed to rewire the electrical and plumbing systems of the cottage. The existing lines were so old that he couldn't guarantee the safety of installing new fixtures and outlets. This ultimately led us to decide to just run new utility lines to the cottage. And now we're working with our artisans to run plumbing, electricity, um, evacuation pipes, and to remove some walls. This was originally a chapel and a priest's house. Then it became a caretaker's cottage. He took the beams off. Oh my God. It looks amazing. <gasps> and now it's gonna be an artist's haven. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. See immediately like the psychological Just height. Opened everything. I mean the the beams were super cool. <gasps> they started, they started. They started taking it off. They started. <gasps> and Whoa. we're actually we made the very difficult decision to actually bring this wall down. As beautiful as it is, it is really breaking up this space into two not quite large enough spaces and the small room back there is very dark by itself and we're going to keep the stones so that we can make anything in the future a wall anything cool we're going to keep that beautiful archway to re rebuild somewhere else but this will really make this whole room all about the ceiling which is beautiful there's going to be two stunning crystal chandeliers one over there and one over here. And this whole place is gonna be this incredible stone exposed artist's place. You know what I'm realizing though, baby? What? When that stone wall comes down, we're not gonna have beautifully exposed stone anymore. I think what we could, Then we have, have to, to do, take all of this we're off. Chip away at all this beautiful, all this all stuff. of it. Yeah, chip, 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 chip. We need to do that because yeah. that's the best part right there. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. For we us. need to it's kind of expose it because look, it, all of this has kind of been like plastered, which I wonder if it's going to hurt the integrity of the walls. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. But we should check with, with the artisan. <clears throat> do you like it? I love it. I love this. This this really like psychically just kind of opens up. The big beam is coming down and it's all just going to be open. So today is Saturday and we have our lovely, lovely trench digger um, come out and dig the trench to run all the electrics from the, um, the new technical room out to the caretaker's cottage. So let's look. He's been here since eight o'clock. It's already 11, I think, 
red ones for electrical lines, one for the fiber, and then the blue one for water, mm. which is amazing. I think they just really wanted to make sure they never have to open it again. Yeah. Special This work. is how to get electricity out to an outbuilding. Oh, yeah. The what? It's like gold-plated Oh, yeah. It's so cool. Quickly, how quickly things end up moving. It's so cool. Once the artisans get working. Yeah, yeah, you just have to wait for them to be ready. <laughs> Once they're and ready, they go. And for you to be ready to make all the right choices. Yeah. yeah. We've been talking about this for how many months? Three, four months? I can't remember. A while. A while. Anyway. Yeah. It's working out. Yeah. Okay. Ale. Ale. Bon. Mama and Penelope just returned from a big Halloween shopping extravaganza. Because we're hosting all of our friends this weekend, or actually Monday and Tuesday, actual Halloween, for a Chateau Halloween celebration. Mm -hmm. uh, we got lots of black candles. Very pretty. And I love the lace. Big ones for the grand salon. Nice. Um, yeah, I like this that. Is, this is very sheer. Look at this. This is very nice. This we got at the store. We had 20 minutes before they closed it. Mm, and that's and we, be could, really we cool. could even rip a little bit of that. Really anyway, cool. Anyway, we have three yards and it's quite wide, so it's a lot of material. Really nice. Yeah, pretty wide. Nice. Uh, I kind of like it white. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. We could just we could keep it white. before we dye it, before See, we yeah. think of dyeing it. Okay, so we got some paper plates because we usually don't do this, but since these are our friends coming, we want to enjoy ourselves a little bit more and not be washing plates until 3 a.m. Yeah, we're trying to reduce service. Yeah. Look at these cute little cocktail napkins Mama got. Oh, Very... I love those. Okay, so that's yeah, I like in the, the, black, the black and that... copper theme. Yeah, this that's is, pretty. Oh, this is the theme. And... I love the theme. Look at Look this. what I got. Um, little chalkboards. Like eight oh, of them nice. that we, to show what the food yeah, is. Yeah, what everything is and the, the cocktails. Yeah. So they can just read it all, all the ingredients. And, and I got little chalk. easels for it. Oh, I love it. We have chalk. But we have tons of chalk. Oh, right. Copper. Copper. Very and pretty. Copper here. So Very nice. Mix the copper with yeah. black. Right. Like, Are you going to spray paint, paint those? Black yeah. Or, or, or do the heavy red. Right. We'll do a mixture of the two. Really nice. So I have little jars for little potions area, little bottles. Oh, let's oh, see. I that's really that. cute. Gonna have, like, what are the little... potions going to be? Uh, probably just food coloring and water. You know what it could be? Mm. Hot sauce. That'd like condiments. Fun. Yeah, condiments. Or like olive oil, like things to dress your yeah, food. Yeah, we do like herbal and herbal like... Like basil, rosemary. olive oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These, these are going to go in the Grand Salon so we don't have to... Nice. Watch out so much. Very nice. Some glass first. Yeah. So it's safer. Some of these are Yeah. Here we have Wendell. Halloween is coming up soon. Hi, Wendell. You can go back to bed. You can go back oh. to sleep. You want to go upstairs and take a nap? He's hanging out with his mommy as his mommy does her Halloween projects. How's your ghost? <laughs> your ghost chicken wire ghost adventure going? Yeah. Um, okay, I guess. Harder than the Instagram videos made it look. She also she was like, oh, 15 seconds is not really 15 seconds to assemble. Wow. I kind of messed up cutting the skirt, so I'm trying to like hide the mess up because I don't know what I'm doing. Nice. You can like see like the really jacket. Oh, <laughs> I love it. So what's the shape? It's just a. Well, it's gonna be a ghost. A, a ghost. A woman. This oh. Is a skirt. Doesn't that look like? It does. It does. I see it. I see it. Okay, okay, we're gonna show the before and after the results, but it's looking good. And Wendell thinks. Oh Wendell doesn't think much. Wendell's yeah, just fast asleep. Doesn't care that much about Halloween, but that's because he doesn't know what it's like yet. Yeah. Learn to love it. It's his first Halloween, so we have Maruko in the other room getting ready, getting the altar ready for right. the ancestors and cleaning up. Um, and then Penelope, what else are you gonna make? 
I'll do the torso, and then I'm trying to do like a little girl or a man mm -hmm. next to this one. Mm -hmm. um, people like doing this shape because the dress is really easy to do. I love it. And it's um, like a spooky Victorian woman. Oh, I can't wait to show the reveal. Okay, so Maruka's somewhere here. And I think she's still working on the altar for the Dia de los Muertos. Aha, there it is. This is... She's working on the altar. Knees, I have to work everywhere else to find all the pictures. The pictures of my ancestors and she, the other photographs. She's missing one, so we're gonna have to print it. No, now. we're missing like a bunch. You're miss, like missing five. a bunch. Yeah, but the most important ones are gone. Oh no. You wanna see the the closet? The closet. Here's a spookification of the grand salon. So I just put this in here, but look, now, you, now we can actually walk in here. I'm going to put the stuff for this in here so oh, everything's cool. here. She cleaned up the entire closet. Our projector now can live in here safely. Yeah. Because we and, lose it all the time. And the legs. And so the legs. The, mm -hmm. Oh, great. I oh, love sorry. it. And wow. here I've been moving a lot of the boxes. Uh, see? see? This is a major big Three. Empty box gone. Oh my god, more books. Penelope basically is um, up to weird Halloween shenanigans. This is her chicken wire creation. It's kind of creepy. Kind of cool. This is a self portrait. So to like 75% scale. <laughs> this Penelope oh. basically um, made it herself. Oh. Wow. Well, and with a much nicer waist. Um, but what I actually did was I measured it to myself, but then I needed to have a lot more material to close it that I did not account for at all. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I want you I want you to just keep making more and more of these things. Oh my god. Maybe you should I make a snowman Christmas. for Christmas. <gasps> I was telling Mama, I feel like <gasps> I make have a snowman by medium. You know? <laughs> like I'm an artist in search of a medium. <laughs> Chicken wire. It's so cool. Um, Penelope, you can make a bunch of snow like men or reindeer and we can put them on top of the cabane de chien. And when the neighbors drive by, all they see is Christmas decorations on top of the rooms. <gasps> you know what we could also do projection because French love the Christmas production. Oh, yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, that's what Karina was telling us. Mom's on it. Come on, Mama. Yeah, I thought you were building a swing. Doesn't that look like a woman? I can't see the boa without the boa. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's on her? Oh, I love it. Uh, uh, Bill. She's getting married. Oh, she looks fabulous. It's Vivian from Chateau Love. What do you have over? Have a spectacular um, jack o' lantern carving competition happening in a few minutes. Everyone's eating lunch inside, and we're going to create jack o' lanterns that are going to accompany us into the Halloween ball. Ooh, spooky. you might see a lady of the shadow. Oh yeah.
everybody hang out. Okay. Thanks again, guys. Bye. See you. Bye. I got gifts for all the ladies. Oh, so nice. we're just trying to keep them up, okay. babe. Wow. Um, because I know you like black, <laughs> and I also know you like purple, and I know you like history, and I know you like things that are a little teeny weeny bit goth. So this oh, is for you. Wow. Whoa. Oh, I'm so excited. I love the little oh, keys on God. it. The boxes are gorgeous. Boxes and this is so Art Deco. Lovely. Oh, the packaging it. is stunning. Doesn't it look a little bit like the coffin in um, Snow White? She's like buried in a glass coffin. Oh my God, yeah, I love mm. it. That's so beautiful. You like a black wow. lace. Wow. Uh, oh. So and then yeah. Maruka, um, I, know. I hadn't so met good. you yet, so I didn't know what you liked, but I did know that we all like blue and white porcelain. That's one thing I know for a fact is that we all like blue and white porcelain. Oh porcelain. My, God, so my goodness. Oh, I love the packages. So now, this yeah. is vintage, it's not uh, antique, okay. but it's probably from around the 1950s. Like me. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're surely oh, later than the 1950s. <laughs> but that's why I can call myself a bitch. I'm, I'm not a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my god. god. It's gorgeous. Oh, I hope you like it. It's gorgeous. So this is Delft. It's not yes. French. But yes. it's festive for the holiday season. It's you know what? My parents have, I have it in the other room. They had this little jugs that used to have Gorgeous. liquor in them. And they were Delft. And I didn't get them. I finally found them. But it reminds me that I love the windmill. Yeah. And then the little stones. Oh my God, what are those? Oh. I'm pretty sure they're paste. If not, you just, you know, you just... <laughs> 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 That's such a chateau I've ever gotten. Thank you. So beautiful. Thank you for your incredible. Carolina, you're next. Yeah, okay. Carolina, you're next. Whoa, I think this is going to be your Ooh. Oh. This is the. Ooh, la, la, la. The Bell Epoch Naughty and Nice Bag. Oh my God. <laughs> Vivian. Brilliant. She makes these. This is the big one. This is really, really, really rare. Oh my and you'll see why. Over. But if I see something yeah. and it speaks to me about somebody that I know, then. That's how I like fine presents. Just even these beautiful. I know. I know. I want keys to the castle. Yeah, like on my wrist. Like so I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So you see, the image is not a common image that one sees from the turn of the last century. It's a female couple. Yeah. <laughs> so this is one of the things she saw and was like, I'm so getting it for them. And then at some point we're going to meet each other and then we, I can give it properly. Try <laughs> but, we try to collect yeah. them. They're so rare. rare. Yes. Like this. There's even a Cupid. Oh my oh God. God. Yes. Oh. Oh my special. Maybe a logo for like certain things. Yeah. Wow. Maybe for the line of songs. So glad. Oh, yeah. I wow. can't believe it. We are going to have to leave you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair.